So, let us come to the seventh one which is lubrication of oil. Lubrication of oil. Now, how can we define this lubrication of oil? So, it is a like which kind of liquid is this? First of all, we are writing that. So, it is a thick, okay, it is a thick liquid, it is a thick liquid. So, how can we define it? It is a thick heavy liquid, it is a thick heavy liquid, okay, which is use I written off over here that is what I was thinking off will not come here lubrication oil ok that is what I was thinking what I have written. So, lubrication oil it is a thick heavy liquid which is used to reduce friction. Okay. So, to minimize the friction, to reduce the friction, to allow the motion with ease, to allow the motion uh, like you know to allow the uh, movement of the uh, any vehicle parts of the vehicle machines. Okay. So, this kind like the lubrication oil is used and how it is it is a thick liquid. Okay. You might have seen in the advertisements also many a times a uh, advertisement of the lubricators are there on the uh, television. So, what does it do? It reduces the it minimizes the friction uh, where between the parts of the machine. So, that those parts of the machine which are in contact with each other they do not undergo like they do not get rubbed by each other and can move with an ease. Okay. Next see now all this define part is over let us come to the next one let us see what is there next. Okay. So, it was all define now next one is okay. the next one is answer in one word this is question number 6. Okay. So, question number 6 answer in one word. Okay. So, come to the first one answer in one word. Now, they are talking about name name so sorry name two places in India where coal is found. Okay. What is the question? I will just repeat the question name two places in India where coal is found. So, uh, we have to write here the places see they have not asked about the refineries. Okay. So, they are asking from where the coal can be from from where in India especially we can get the coal. So, uh, name two places in India where coal is found. So, what are the two places in India? It can be Orissa, okay. it can be West Bengal and it can be Madhya Pradesh. Okay, these are the places where the coal is formed. Now, in this also like I have written the name of the state itself. Okay. 
so it's not like that children that all over uh, madhya pradesh all over orissa all over west bengal the every place will find the coal no like obviously there will be mines okay there will be the places where the mines are there and there uh, like particular place like you know uh, uh, i think you are getting my point like in a particular part in the particular part of these states the mines are there from where in india i'm talking about from where we can get the coal we can means what again we can means the miners the one who dig the one who look for the places where the coal can be uh, obtained from okay so this is answer in one word and the first question was the places we are supposed to write the places of india where the coal can be obtained okay now come to the second question let me see what the second question is all about it's name the fuel used in heavy automobiles okay i'll repeat the question children name the fuel used in heavy automobiles so what is the which is the fuel which is used in the uh, heavy first of all children what's the meaning of the heavy automobiles see heavy automobile means the vehicles uh, like you know which are uh, which can carry lot of load and like uh, which are like when we talk about car okay car and truck so obviously the trucks are the heavier heavier one heavy vehicles they carry heavy loads and the body is also the there's a difference in the body structure the body structure of the truck is much heavier in comparison to the car so to uh, answer if we talk about directly so obviously it's diesel okay but why diesel is used the thing always that comes that should come in your mind is why why diesel why not petrol okay as uh, there are certain cars which even run on the diesel okay so why we are writing for heavy vehicles why diesel why not petrol because the pickup okay of the diesel is better than the petrol so for the heavy vehicles diesel is used instead of petrol but that is not the case at all that in the cars the diesel cannot be used there are many cars like you know for one company only okay like say suppose any cars company say suppose anyone take the example of varna you will get in both the uh, sometimes it is available okay sometimes means in few cars it is available that the same car uh they may have launched the cars which will run uh, with petrol and the other one with the diesel so uh some people uh, you know they like to have uh, vehicles which like they they use uh, diesel in their cars also see because pickup is good it's much uh, cheaper than the petrol okay and pick pick up is also good but the thing why it is avoided is the diesel uh, cars are costly first of all and the second thing is it becomes little, little heavier the one who is not very good at driving feels little uneasy with the uh, diesel cars okay so coming to the point the second one is name the fuel used in heavy automobiles so it is what diesel okay but still i'll write over here it can be it can be used for cars also depending upon the type of the car the person has got okay so this was about second question name the fuel used in heavy automobiles now come to the third one third question is full form of ongc and pcra okay now they are talking about full form of ongc so ongc is a company uh, in india which deals with the extraction of oil 
refining of oil okay it has got a very good uh, name okay it's a very big company which deals with all things okay so what else it ongc oil and natural ongc yeah. oil and natural gas let's see ongc corporation okay oil and natural gas corporation and even we can write over here limited okay so what is ongc ongc is a company which deals with the oil extraction with the refining of oil okay so uh, this is a very important company of our country which you should be aware of uh, it deals uh, in various you know like all related to whatever is there with the oil so what is the full form of ongc it is oil and natural gas corporation limited okay okay here only i should write the this third one only okay this one is also third the full form of pcra okay they are asking pcra so what is this petroleum conservation petroleum conservation research okay petroleum conservation research association i am not able to write here actually association okay so what it is pcra petroleum conservation and research association okay see what was the third question all about they are asking about the what they are asking about the full forms of ongc and pcra now ongc as i told it is a company which deals with the refinery okay with the extraction of the oil it's a very major country it's a very big uh, company of the country okay so second one is pcra now children what is this pcra it is an association whose like what's the what's the full form it's petroleum conservation and research association what is that petroleum conservation and research association now what does this pcra do what is this like uh, actually what is this related to so if you remember we have discussed in detail the uh, suggestions which were given by pcra okay suggestions for what children suggestions for how to reduce pollution okay on our level okay on our level how can we reduce the pollution they have given suggestions for how one can maintain their vehicles okay how they can reduce the use of the fuel that is the reason the full form is what petroleum conservation how to conserve how to protect okay so what are the things which they have told they have discussed they have suggested that we should use the vehicles wisely okay wisely means what we should use whenever it is required okay and again the second point wisely means what we should keep our vehicles in like you know, it should be maintained it like maintenance is very very essential if the maintenance of the vehicle is not done obviously it is going to consume more fuel okay so what they have told that the vehicle should be in good condition to keep the vehicles in good condition it is obviously necessary that vehicles should be 
serv like it should be given for the servicing ok. So, the vehicles should be given for the servicing at the regular intervals it should be in the good condition vehicle should be maintained properly it should be used properly. Now, how to use a vehicle properly that means one should not use it unnecessarily ok for walking for, for going to a walkable distance if the distance is walkable one can go walking can prefer walking ok can share the cars can share the vehicles can have the can use the public transportation and the when like when one ride or drives a vehicle the speed should not be like you know uh, like when we talk about the two wheelers it can be around something 40 to 45 between 40 to 50 almost if you uh, exceed the range upper side. So, between 40 to 50 if you keep your vehicle so it will give a good average and automatically the consumption of fuel will be reduced. Now, in the similar way when we talk about the cars also. So, again 70 I think it is a good speed where the car can give a good average ok. So, the average uh, to increase the average to get a good average. Uh, so, we should keep it on one particular like we should keep it means what it means like uh, approx when you are going for a like a covering a long distance. So, there should not be very like you know a lot of fluctuations in the speed should not move should not go with the higher speed because then the it does not it, it use more amount of petrol. And also it is suggested by PCRA that during the red signals we should turn off the engine ok. That means, when you are or I am ok when we are there on the traffic signals and we our traffic signal is not on then we should rather uh, waiting there with the on vehicles we should switch off the vehicles ok. Nowadays we can see like every uh, town is having the uh, you know the automatic that uh, machine uh, that time uh, slot is there ok like uh, 50 seconds are left 10 seconds are left 1 minute is left whatsoever. So, you can or I can or we can rather understand that when we have to restart a vehicle. So, what are the things which is suggested by PCRA first of all should maintain the vehicle in a good condition should give it for the servicing at regular intervals the speed should be maintained ok. Then we should not use it unnecessarily ok and what else like the traffic signals during the traffic signals it should be turned off. So, PCRA petroleum conservation and research association ok. Now, come to the next one next question is question number 7 ok. Let me write question number 7 let us see what is the question question number 7 is differentiate between the following that means write the difference ok write the difference. So, so, in write the difference the first one is renewable and non renewable resources ok. What is the first one? First one is over this is white one. So, the first is renewable and non renewable I will just write over here I think this one is done and non renewable. I will write the question here first one renewable and non renewable. Ok, we have discussed renewable and non renewable. Now, see first of all here only in short form write which or here below which one is this renewable means what which can be renewed ok. So, which can be renewed it should be exhaustible or inexhaustible 
so obviously this are inexhaustible remember this thing okay inexhaustible because it can be renewed if it is renewed so these are what new methods okay so what which one non conventional and here what these are exhaustible one and conventional so do this exercise before only okay renewable which can be renewed if it is renewed that means what it is inexhaustible if it is inexhaustible that means these resources we are uh, not using for many 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 years okay so how did i say many 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 years so these are the resources which we are using uh, from uh, like in you know, the last 20 30 years so again these are non conventional resources non conventional resources means non like it's not the traditional one it's the new resources okay so first one renewable resources so obviously as the name said is these resources can be renewed these resources can be renewed okay these resources can be renewed this is the name which itself name is suggesting here these i've written this these okay so these resources cannot be renewed okay these resources means what renewable can be renewed these not renewable means cannot be renewed we are writing what the name is suggesting okay now second one now these are inexhaustible resources these are inexhaustible resources and here these are exhaustible resources okay now what can be the third one see now these are inexhaustible that means we don't have any kind of limited stock hai na it is so here we have it is or i can write we have okay we have unlimited okay we have unlimited stock and there we have limited stock we have limited stock okay now one major thing okay fourth one do not harm the environment okay or even if it is harming then like pollution is less okay less pollution and here i can write more pollution is created okay so fourth one what can i write here do not have the i'll have to rub here again so what can what can i write here do not harm the environment and these these are these are very harmful for the environment 
these are very harmful for the environment and so why why these are very very harmful because they they spread lot of pollution okay see what are the things here now see first one is what renewable and non renewable so renewable means what which can be renewed okay so it can be renewed we are uh, like we don't have any limited amount we will talk about i can even write examples over here okay sixth one example renewable so solar energy okay wind energy tidal so all these are what these are renewable resources and here i can write coal petrol okay kerosene diesel so what is here renewable means what renewable means what these are the one which can be renewed these are the one which we have in uh, like a uh, abundant amount is present abundance uh, is there we don't have any limited thing over here okay so these resources can be renewed very simple one just we are writing the meaning of renewable here these resources are what i have written cannot be renewed that means we cannot bring it again okay these are what these are inexhaustible resources they do not get exhausted okay these are these are exhaustible resources okay that means what they are they will be finished they will be uh, one day we won't be able to uh, use those resources okay now here we have unlimited stock when i'm saying unlimited stock that means we can use it for a long time forever okay here we have very limited stock now here do not harm the environment if it is not harming the environment then again it is a boon for us isn't it it's more useful for us it create lesser pollution and very less i should say pollution in comparison to the non renewable one okay now these are what very harmful for the environment and they spread lot of pollution okay and what are the examples coal petrol kerosene diesel all these are the examples of non renewable resources okay when we say that non renewable resources are harmful so how it is harmful because when these are burned okay when the coal is burned when the petrol burns when the kerosene diesel burns i am not saying children that we are burning petrol okay when we are using again it is getting like the uh, when the vehicles are run okay so what comes out lots of different oxides comes out so it pollutes the atmosphere okay lots of gases comes out which are responsible for the trapping of heat sun's heat due to which the temperature of the earth get increased when these fuels okay when we talk about coal petrol diesel kerosene okay when i'm saying burning so which fuels are we burning all the fuels one or the other way i'm not saying that we are burning the petrol but when the petrol is used in the vehicles the gases which comes out okay are which kind of gases like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide okay so all these gases when these gases comes out so like say carbon dioxide again it's a which kind of gas it's a uh, greenhouse effect gas it traps the heat okay when it traps the heat again what will happen the temperature of the earth will be increased when the temperature of the earth will be increased again what will happen it will give rise to global warming and we have discussed due to global warming our uh, earth will be is like it is in danger 
because the areas which are there near the sea will get submerged under the sea ok. So, it has to be taken care of that when we use non renewable resources first of all these are like these are the creators of the pollution ok. These are like they create pollution to very high degree many other things like even when we talk about you know these kind of fuels these are responsible for the acid rain ok. So, not I am not saying just only fossil fuels again the industrial pollution and all these things are there, but again these fuels also play a very important role in the uh, like what in acid rains. So, again it has to be like we should shift towards the renewable resources which do not pollute the air in comparison to the uh, non renewable one ok. Now, again when we talk about the pollution when I am discussing about the pollution when we talk about the coal even the mining of the coal just imagine burning is a second issue just when we take out the coal from the surface of the earth the amount of the pollution which is created is you know it is very high ok because uh, when the coal is removed from the surface of the earth the coal dust is there in the atmosphere, the coal particle is there, the soot is there all these you know it mixed up with the air and it creates the air pollution to such an extent that the miners the one who are responsible for taking out the coal from the mines they have different kind of respiratory diseases ok. Now, again when the coal is removed from the mines the methane comes out. So, that is also again a what greenhouse effect gas ok greenhouse gas then again this was the first issue then second part the burning of the coal that we all are aware of that so much of pollution is created. So, just in taking out the coal outside removing the coal from the mines is also responsible for lot of pollution. So, we should obviously look forward towards the renewable resources. So, what is renewable resources those resources which can be renewed which we have in plenty which we can use for years which are cheaper ok this one also I can write ok these are what cheaper and these are what costly here I have written fifth point this one will be sixth ok now seven these are costly ok we do not have any danger that like it will get off it will not we will not be able to get. So, these are the advantages of using what which kind of resources renewable resources which are inexhaustible resources ok which are like they create pollution to a very very less extent and these are cheaper also safe also in all the ways. So, this was our first difference now we will discuss about the second difference. So, the second one is natural gas and petroleum gas. So, just I will come to the second one we will discuss about the second natural gas and petroleum gas.